Hey everybody, welcome to our newest monthly update. My name is James, I'm a product manager here at Cisco Umbrella. This month, there was really big news in uh, the world of security, and I'm sure all of you heard about it. It's the WannaCry attack. So we're gonna talk about what WannaCry was and how ransomware works. We're gonna talk about how Umbrella and Investigate responded. And then we're gonna go in a little more detail on the new and seen domains category. That played a really key role in helping protect our customers. So come on with me, and let's start learning. Okay, so first of all, we are going to meet with one of my favorite people in the entire company. His name's Dia. Welcome, Dia. Thanks for coming by. It's great to be here, James. So what really, what was WannaCry like at a high level? So WannaCry was actually a very widespread ransomware attack that happened. Interestingly, it uh, involved uh, several factors that made it uh, into the big headlines. Probably the shadow brokers leak, they, they say that uh, those vulnerabilities were part of the National Security Agency's kind of tool, tool, tool set. The other thing is that they hit some uh, important organizations like healthcare, uh, orgs, and uh, other entities in Europe and North America. So this is this is really scary, right? If you think about it, it's a it's, you know big attack. What can someone at home do to better protect themselves from threats like this? Well, I would say the solution is is uh, has to be very holistic. They vary from user education, uh, hygiene in terms of how we deal with the online world, and also technologies we install. So in addition to the Umbrella, I guess, offering, you have the other products within Cisco, like the Endpoint, the Next Generation Firewall. So in, in a sense, we were among the, the very early, uh, I guess, uh, watchers who saw this attack happen and we blocked it as, as soon as possible. So that's a really good point. It's actually a great segue into our next segment. So next up, we're gonna go talk to Meg Diaz, who you've met before. Dia, thank you so much. As always, incredible learning from you. Thanks. Hey, hey, Meg. Oh, hey, James. What's going on? Good to see you again. It's you been a too. While. We were just, uh, in this monthly update, we're talking about the WannaCry attack. Can you kind of talk us through how the like Cisco per portfolio responded to the attack? Yeah, so right here you can see actually the, the timeline of events and what Cisco Security was able to identify and stop. So cool, so what actually happened on the day of the attack? So first of all, there was a researcher in the UK, malware attack, and he's actually credited with really uncovering and, and actually stopping the, the WannaCry ransomware overall. But he actually published a blog where he credited Cisco Umbrella Investigate with being one of the key tools that he used in his research. That's really awesome. So how about Umbrella? There was a, a domain that the malware would reach out to, and Umbrella actually saw that very early on, and it was added to our newly seen domains category. And so for any customers who were blocking that category, they were protected very early on. Later, that domain was then classified as malware by our security researchers, and then any customers who were blocking malware were then protected. Really impressive to see like the many touch points that the Cisco security portfolio had in, in response to that attack. Thank you so much for uh, filling us in on all this. It's really, really awesome. Good, thanks okay, James. Later. All right, so we're back here in the engineering office and I want to reintroduce you to someone that you're probably very familiar with by this point. He's been on several of our monthly updates. It's our product manager, Jeremy Linden. Hey, what's up, man? Good to see you. For this monthly update, we're talking about the WannaCry attack. Can you kind of talk more about like what happened and how newly seen domains factored into uh, the, this whole picture? If our customers were blocking newly seen domains uh, and they got uh, hit by this ransomware, the ransomware would look up the uh, so-called kill switch domain and would get actually a block page. That block page would actually itself make the malware think that the domain uh, was registered so it would actually engage that kill switch behavior, which would prevent the malware from propagating and also prevent the files from being encrypted. How do we then transition things from newly seen to saying things are malicious or not? So once a domain is classified, as newly seen, that in addition to our full data feed is worked on by both our algorithms as well as our, our actual research team. Up until when that classification expires, both the algorithms and the human beings uh, would be able to do some further analysis on that domain and decide whether it should be considered safe. Investigate probably plays a really key role in that. Everything that we know about it, like the structure that went in behind it. Yeah, so Investigate is actually a productized version of the same 
a system that our own researchers actually use to go find bad stuff out there on the internet. And customers who have their own SOC teams can and do use Investigate in that same way, uh, exposing it to their team of responders and analysts to stay one step ahead of their own adversaries. We, we just talked to you a couple months ago about newly seen domains. We just created this and it played a key role in protecting our customers from this threat. Yeah, that's why I love working here, man. Woo, that's right. right. Yeah. All right, so obviously a massive worldwide attack is never fun or exciting news for us to report. But we did think the role that Umbrella Investigate played was really important, not only in just protecting you at home, but also helping to identify and shut down the attack on a much broader scale as well. So with that said, we'll be back next month with our regular scheduled program. We have really exciting news and features and updates for you. And I'll look forward to seeing you then.